Dragon Fools, this is the Realme here, and welcome back to Seduce Me, the Otome game. Last episode, we had completed Matthew, so now we're gonna go with Sam. Let's see if he's not gonna be such a jerk to us. I walked out to the front of the to the front yard. See Sam not cleaning. Well, hold on, I gotta <laughs> go on this no disturb on Skype, but. Okay, but doing slow motions with his hands and arms. He was doing Tai Chi, a form of martial arts I had previously learned aside from Taekwondo. However, he wasn't cleaning, which made me cross my arms and glare at him. Aren't we supposed to be cleaning the front yard? You were taking too long. I already finished cleaning. Are you serious? What? I looked around the front yard and noticed that the windows were polished, the weeds were pulled and tossed out from the sidewalk, the lamps were wiped down, and the stairs were swept. He really did finish cleaning. We literally disbanded a mere minute ago, though. Wow, you work fast. Sam didn't respond. He kept his eyes closed and continued to do his Tai Chi. For a guy who wanted to be a badass, I would have imagined him doing hard workouts or a karate move for practice. Tai Chi was not what I expected out of him. I stood there wondering what to do. I can join him, yo. <laughs> who cares? I remained quiet as I stood beside him and began to move along with his movements. He was going slow, so it was easy to follow along. What are you doing? I'm following you. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> This isn't supposed to be fun, okay? It's actually supposed to be difficult. I know that, Sam, but I mean, I have nothing else to do since you already cleaned everything. I know. Sam opened an eye to look at me without breaking his motions before closing it and continuing. I followed along flawlessly, keeping to his speed. It was very relaxing, until I managed to trip over my feet and land on Sam. Oof! Hey! Watch it! Sorry. <laughs> S sorry. I had landed on top of Sam, staring eye to eye with him. Sam and I couldn't stop blushing, nor did either of us move from the ground. I could hear my heart, hear my heart pound against his chest. Sam didn't move a muscle, but just stared at me in embarrassment. I eventually moved up, moved up off of him and brushed myself with a large blush on my face. Sam sat up and rubbed his head. Man. Watch where you're going next time. Sorry. I nodded. He stood up and looked at me for a moment. I could see in his eyes that he was concerned if I was okay, but he refused to ask. I smiled before walking <laughs> back into the house. I heard him sigh before I walked out of earshot. Like, Sam is one of those, like, guys that a whole lot of girls want. Like, they, they kind of have that brave up front face, but then they honestly deep down care for you, like, oh my god, is she okay? Is she okay? But he's not gonna show it. I don't know, guys, I guess that's like the typical anime guy, which every girl falls for anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. The hour of the house party had arrived. In my mind, I kept double and triple checking this and- Oh wait, I could skip this. Yay, thank you. Uh... Yes, I'm going to be as as pretty as I'll ever be. I couldn't deny that I was nervous, but I had to try. This part was more than what it was, and I had done all of that I could prepare could to prepare for it. Now it was all up to fate. I think this actually this time um I'm so sorry about your grandfather past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. For do you have yes, I do. What do you think will yeah. What do you think? Do you think the- Okay, cool. Place your hand in his. We're actually gonna chase him this time. Cause he- Cause when on the last episode, he had four pictures. You're like welcome. four blocks Pre of pictures. So, follow him. We're gonna follow him. We're gonna stick with Sam, yes. But I wanna follow Andrew and see what he does. Cause there- You know- like for Damien and Matthew, there were two missing pictures. So I'm I wonder what those how do I unlock that? It should have like freaking gave me a hint. I quickly followed Andrew, wanting to be sure he was alright. I felt a little embarrassed that my dad put him on the spot like that. I had to apologize. Oh the gazebo, I love gazebos. We won't we wound 
wound up <laughs> outside, the stars practically dancing on the grass as we stood in the backyard of the mansion. It had been my first time in years being out there, but my thoughts weren't on the nostalgia. Hey, Andrew. Andrew turned to me in surprise. However, his face was completely red in both embarrassment and humiliation. I felt terrible. Oh, I, um, I didn't see you or hear you following. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. I should be the one to apologize. What for? You didn't do anything wrong. I mean, for the way my dad behaved. It shouldn't have been so. Oh, no. No, it's fine. I mean, I should have expected it and been more prepared. <laughs> Andrew rubbed the back of his neck and gave a goofy grin. It was intriguing, seeing Andrew's professional side and then seeing Goofy smile away from everyone. Still, I'm sorry for that. It's not a problem, really, but thank you. We both smiled at each other before I reached my hand out to him. He tilted his head and raised an eyebrow in confusion. Michiko. My name is Michiko. Oh, geez, there I go, unlocked one picture. And understanding his smile returned before he took my hand gently and shook it. That's a pretty name. I'm happy to know it now. Thanks, Andrew. No, uh, it's not that nice. I have to disagree with you. It's much better than Andrew. I mean, who names their kid Andrew? I thought Andrew was a cute name. <laughs> a lot of people do. But how about Axel or Ace? Something cool like that. Ace? I don't think so, because Tyler and I have a dog named Ace. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh at him. He was pretty chill for a guy who was supposed to be a vice chairman's son. He grinned and laughed along with me. I don't know why, but I felt warm. Whether it was an almost non-existent breeze or the situation we found ourselves in, it felt nice. Lewis. And just like that, the feeling had vanished. We both turned to see my dad at the door of the mansion, staring at Andrew with almost a deadly glare. Andrew straightened up, trying to manage, uh, maintain a business posture. Yes, sir? Your limo is in the front. The driver has requested that you return home. Now. Oh, uh, all right. Thank you, sir. Andrew quickly nodded to me before speeding back into the mansion to leave. As I took a step to follow, my dad stepped in front of me. Dad? I don't want to hear it. Do not become friendly with him. He wants to take the company away from us. You have no reason to be friends with him. I know, but I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> before I could retort, my dad turned away and walked back inside, muttering about how the party was near an end. I sighed and entered the house as well, wanting for the party to end immediately. Eventually, only Suzu, Naomi, my parents, and Incubi were left, and I had to skip this part. Oh god. Run. <laughs> Run, dude. Mm, we're gonna work on homework. Let's work on homework. What the hell was that? <laughs> I had to work on my homework. I had school tomorrow. Tomorrow, regardless of what was happening in my life. At the moment, I wish school was over. Well, might as well get it done now. I reluctantly took my books out of my bag that sat on the floor. I made my bed into a study picnic area as I began to work through my homework. The benefit of doing your homework in the morning? Not having to do it later. The downside, morning sucks for trying to use your brain for anything educational. Formula for fixed cost is FC plus BC times Q equals TC. Marginal cost is total cost minus fixed cost. I felt my brain slowly start to ramp up the flow of logical thought, speeding up the time I was working on each economic equation I had. It was a matter of me being smart about anything when it came, doing, came to doing homework or doing well in class, but I was quick to learn and easily retained information. <sighs> If only I could learn about the boys this fast. I stopped. Did I just <laughs> did I really just compare learning about demons to learning about economics? 7 a.m. It's too early to be alive. What a little makes sense. I shook my head and continued to work. What happens if I do disturb them? 
but they quite look angry, so I don't mean it. <laughs> I feel like so risky now, cause it's like I'm halfway there. Hey, you know what, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. All at once the boys looked at me, frozen their movement. I just stood at the doorway staring at them after my outburst. James was the first to break away from the group stepping towards me. Good morning. We apologize if we woke you up. No, no, it's fine. I've been awake for a while now. I'm sorry I interrupted. It's quite alright. We needed to stop anyway. We don't want to overwork Sam. Oh, come on, I can handle more than those pity punches. Your mind seems grateful that we've stopped. Shut up, Damien. Oh, I should have stopped them. Then. Oh, crap. We should probably make some lunch. I'm sure you're starving. Oh, no, 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 I can make lunch. I can handle lunch if you like. You all seem to be very busy tra training to beat Ma Malix. I'll take care of it today. Whoa, seriously? Yeah, why not? I'm not useless. I know how to cook and do other stuff too. W well, no, I wasn't insinuating. It's okay, Sam. You can just, like, kiss my forehead. I'll be totally okay. What he means to say is that we'd be really grateful if you could make lunch today. Of course. <laughs> no problem. As I turned to the kitchen, the boys went back to training. They seemed very different to... They seemed very determined to get better and to become stronger. Might as well make lunch today. It's been a while since I cooked. Lunch wasn't particularly hard. So I decided to make... Pizza. Was that a choice before? <laughs> I don't remember. Pizza is always good no matter what time of day it is. Do we have any? Luckily we have some pizza in the freezer to heat up. Pizza Moore's baked with love pizza. At all the makings of pizza types, including pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, and extra cheese. Just top it, bake it, and serve. I'd have to get more later. I place the food in the dough. Oh, I'm gonna skip this part. Find one ink to buy. Okay. I looked at each hall trying to find one the ink to buy wandering, so that I wouldn't have to go through each individual room finding them. I pursed my lips in irritation. Where the heck are they? I sighed. Knowing that I would have to search for them in each room, I turned to head down the west hall before I suddenly bumped into an opening door face first. <laughs> oh god. Oof. Whoa! What the? I got your pizza, Sam. <laughs> I quickly stepped back from regaining my balance on my feet and with the food in my hand. The last thing I wanted was food on the floor. I shook my head and looked up to see Sam looking at me from behind the door in surprise. Being that I only saw his face, he was wet, so I assumed that the door led to a bathroom he was exiting. Oh, crap. Are you alright? Oh, come on, I'm not that of a much of a burden, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I brought the f I brought food. What the hell? Why did I say that? I shook my head and acted like I knew what I said. Sam raised an eyebrow before looking to the food I brought. Oh, hey. Thanks. Welcome, can you put on clothes? Like, I usually- I, <laughs> I don't know if I have this fear still or not But I would not like seeing guys shirtless I don't know why, maybe because it's too much skin? Uh, I don't know, honestly It's like, I, I, I don't know I don't- I just don't know Now you guys know That I, I get freaked out whenever there's like a shirtless guy or something I think it's too much skin for me That it freaks me out Oh god <laughs> Even though this is a cartoon, it's still like I, I don't know, it's hard for me to talk even As Sam stepped out from behind the bathroom door and closed it I was suddenly face to face with the shirtless and freshly clean Sam A simple towel was hanging over his shoulders as he looked to me I remained frozen, unable to tear my eyes away from the sight Damn, was he ripped? Hey, you alright? Hello? No, I need you to put on clothes, because I cannot see you right now. Avula? <laughs> Sam let out a slight smirk of hair on his lips before tapping my forehead with his finger. It was light, but I still felt pressure from it to push me back a bit on my feet. You gonna give me my food, or do you plan to keep staring in his space like a nut job? Oh, come on. Huh? Oh, right, here. I quickly gave Sam his food, glaring at him. He chuckled before quickly dropping to the floor and crossing his legs to sit on the floor. I had to double take <laughs> down at him before joining him to eat. I was hungry, so I might as well. Sam must have been hungry because he practically scarfed all, his, all of his food down before I could get two bites out of mine. 
Jeez, you eat fast. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. It was good, yeah. Thanks. Sam sat in silence, waiting for me to finish. It was odd. It was not far from having a dog watch you while you ate. Nevertheless, I finished my food quicker than I normally did and looked to Sam, who somewhat got his shirt and vest on while I wasn't looking. Damn, was he fast? <clears throat> Alright then, I'm heading up to the roof. Roof? Roof? He was heading to the roof? Why? Oh, uh, the roof? Yeah, wanna come with? Hold on, he wanted me to join him? On the roof. The roof of a huge mansion. How? Why? I promise you won't fall, or whatever, okay? <laughs> or whatever. He didn't want to sound like a charming prince. Uh, oh, I was so scared that I clicked no thanks. Okay. I didn't know why I was up for this, but I was okay. The small adventurous side of me was very happy with my decision, but another side of me was screaming at me, asking why did I do that. Sam took the empty, empty dishes and placed them on a nearby stand before walking to a nearby window looking to wait a window come on i walked towards sam unsure of what he wanted to do as i stepped to his side he wrapped a tight arm around my waist and hugged me against his side whoa better hold on tight <laughs> you're climbing to the roof i thought okay I instantly wrapped my arms around Sam as he opened the window and stepped up on the ledge. I could feel him tighten his grip on me as he looked up and grabbed the end of the roof with his free hand. Wow. I gripped tightly to him as he somehow was able to pull both of us up to the roof. And with that one hand, he lifted me to the roof first, before pulling himself up and sitting with a cont content sigh. See? I told you I wouldn't let you fall. Thanks, you don't sound <laughs> romantic at all. Yeah. I sat up beside Sam trying to shake off what had happened. He was a demon. I had to remember that. No matter how human he looked. Pretty sight, huh? Gorgeous. <laughs> I raised my eyebrow before looking ahead of us. I gasped. The sight was truly beautiful. The state was settled on a high hill, so the view I saw made me feel like I was flying. I could see Chicago in the distance, surrounded by forests and suburbs. Like the one I resided in. Some... Something about the sight took my breath away. I silently thank my adventurous side for taking the rest to come up here. You know, it's things like this that make the human world worth coming to. Aww. I turned to Sam at his statement, unsure about what he meant. He kept his eyes to the view, but I could see very soft amazement in his eyes. What do you mean? I'm not like my brothers. I didn't come to get away from anything or to fulfill something. Whatever they may tell you, their reasons were. I came because, well, they're my brothers, and that's that. However, I didn't expect the human world to be so pretty. And what about me? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't understand the brothers were running from... I didn't understand. The brothers were running from more than just Malix. What could have possibly driven them from where they were? You uh, ran for something? We all had our reasons for leaving the Abyssal Plains. James didn't want to deal with his problems. Matthew wanted to live with humans more than demons. I came because I didn't want to be without my brothers. So I left with them. Aww. James, Matthew. And we know why Damien left. We don't quite... Well, James is most likely because he doesn't want all the damn pressure. Eric, I'm not quite sure. Eric seems mysterious. That's rather sweet, if you think about it. It doesn't matter. I came, so here I am. It's still sweet, goddammit, Sam. Shut up. <laughs> I frowned and bit my lips slightly. I wasn't sure if he even wanted to be here with how he was answering. Still, I felt a small wave of confidence drive me to scoot closer to Sam. I wanted to try to be friends. Fate didn't like that, apparently. I found myself losing my balance and wound... Wound up starting to fall off the roof. <sighs> Freck. Of course, of course, me had to slide. <sighs> Whoa! Instantly, Sam grabbed me and pulled me back to him. Pulled me to him. He wrapped his arms around me, making sure I wasn't able to fall back down the roof. 
But that wasn't what made me blush wildly from ear to ear. I had somehow landed and straddled over his lap. He was hugging me so close to his chest. It was almost like a it was almost like a romance scene and love story. I could I couldn't tear my eyes away from Sam as he stared up at me in concern. Well, I always questioned, like I always wanted to ask an actor, like scenes like this, even though it's on a script, do they feel anything? Cause shoot, man. Well, what are what's what are you gonna do if like a really cute guy or a cute girl is looking at you in such a romantic way, even though it's a love scene? Oh my god, I can't. Sorry, I'm like peeling gum right now. <laughs> I'm like eating so many sweets in front of you guys. Well, not legit in front of you, but I got gotcha. you. You okay? However, I continued to look down at him as he stared up at me. Neither of us knew what to do, and I could feel that we were both lost in the fact as we looked at each other. Sam's face grew slightly red. Hey, um, I might as well say it now, but sorry for being a dick when we met. It's okay, Sam. I must have been dreaming. Sam was being sincere? Why? However, as I stared, I could feel his strength weaken. It was shaking, but continued to hold me, to keep me safe from falling. Sam, do you need energy? Sam's eyes widened before he looked away, refusing to answer, but refusing to let me go. I didn't feel any energy drain, so he wasn't taking... Try, he wasn't trying to take advantage of the situation. That was it. He needed energy. But should I give it? Hell yeah, kiss him. I gently grabbed Sam's face and tilted his head to an angle with mine. Leaning in closer to him, I brought my lips to his and kissed him deeply. I didn't know if this would help, but it was it was how to get, he got energy before. I shut my eyes, waiting for the draining feeling to re reappear in my body. Sam didn't move, nor did I feel energy drain from me. I opened my eyes and saw Sam, Sam staring wide-eyed at me, but unmoving. He was unsure of what to do, and I had silenced him with confusion. Sam, you freaking took my first kiss already. You might as well. I don't know why, but I felt both irritated and accomplished at the question, and at the look he was giving me. Where was his Where was his flirting? Where was his cocky smirk? From what I remembered, he took advantage of me when we met, yet now he was somehow intimidated by me. I pulled away and spoke. I want to give you some of my energy. If you use a lot of it, I'm sure that the energy you took from me was only using was only used for healing. Let me help you. I, uh, I mean, I really, I don't. You want it, okay, Sam? Just, just kiss away. Sam, if you don't want my energy, just tell me. But I'm offering it to you if you do. All of a sudden, I felt the familiar feeling of warmth run through my body once again. I felt my body slightly heat up as Sam pulled my body tighter to him. He regained his stoic gaze before speaking. Just remember, you offered it. This is sounds so sexual all of a sudden. <laughs> before I knew it, Sam pulled me into a gentle but passionate kiss. He erupted through my body as his slow as his kiss slowly and almost timidly got deeper. Sam kept an arm around my waist while I rested my hands on his chest. The energy of my body was slowly draining from the kiss, making me feel light and warm. It was almost pitiful how comfortable and how willing I was in this situation. Still, I held no regrets. I was enjoying every bit of this kiss. Sam gently leaned back, pulling me along with him so that I was laying on top of him. I felt odd, yet comfortable to be the one in control. This sounds so sexual, guys. I feel so awkward reading it. Sam wasn't as forceful as he was when we first met. And it felt almost magical. It was how I imagined the first kiss to be like. Except with the energy drain, of course. Soon though, the energy drain stopped and Sam gently pushed my face away to end the kiss. I stared down at him as we both panted for air. I had never kissed like that before and I was so lost in the moment that I had forgotten how to breathe. Sam moved a strand of, my, strand of hair from my face to behind my ear. Eyes still full of desire. I look in Sam's eyes though, I couldn't find the strength to pull away. I could feel the hold of his mind altering spell fade away, but I felt 
but I still felt hot. Something told me that I wanted more, but at the same time, I wasn't sure if I truly did want to give any more. We're gonna give him more. I wish we did this for Damien. It's basically the same dialogue, except when she wakes up, they give her a note, but it says something different. I opened the opportunity and I was enjoying so much as he was. I wanted more and I was going to let him keep going. I wanted to keep going. I leaned down and kissed him again. Same gasped <laughs> against my lips but continued to kiss back. I could feel him pull on the trail, the trail, tell of my bow. Releasing and following his hand off from around my neck. He removed the ribbon to his pocket before gently unbuttoning the top two buttons of my blouse. The desire in my body drove me insane. Forcing a moon to escape my lips as he ran kisses from my lips down to his, to my exposed neck and it's quite awkward. I cannot skip either. I could totally skip reading it. But I don't know if any of you would be upset because I did read it for uh, Matthew. But this is quite awkward. Sam was, was ruthless in his passionate kisses on my skin. Sam didn't stop touching me and kissing, making warm wounds and gas rush out of my mouth into the open air. He may have been full, but he was hot as I was. Could I skip yet? Can't skip yet. I couldn't even comprehend how much time we spent making out. I was so lost in the pleasure I, that I didn't care. Call it sinful, but I didn't care. I loved it. His touch, his kiss, his heat. I desired it beyond anything at that moment. Even as if he lowered his gaze down my chest to just above his brow. My heart was beating wildly in my chest. Something about Sam intrigued me immensely. But something made my heart quicken for him. It couldn't have been love. But it was too passionate to be less. What was it? However, I began to feel dizzy. Sam's sky started to spin almost wildly. I gripped to Sam's shoulders, trying to signal him to stop. But my mind faded to black before I could let out another sound. I felt good. I didn't care that I was blocked out. I felt warm and fuzzy in the dark. I never knew indulging in that kind of passion would be that good. I now just waited to awaken, hopefully in a good way. My eyes eventually fluttered open, adjusting to the sight around me. I felt familiar silks underneath me, letting me know that I was in my bed. I slowly sat up, stretching from the tiredness that still lingered. I felt a very soft pain in my neck and shoulders, and I could feel my swollen lips pulse gently and healing. It must feel weird. Their body's probably like numb as hell and you can't even <laughs> move. However, when I looked down at my body, I saw that my shirt had been pulled back and rebuttoned as if nothing happened between me and Sam. I was just missing my ribbon. Before I turned to get out of bed, though, I spotted my ribbon on the pillow beside the one I slept on. It was tied in a nice bow with a small note, note attached to it. I gently slipped the note from the tie and opened it up. Opened it and read it. See, his was from a tie. Matthew was the bunny. This crazy bunny or whatever it was. And then Damien's was a pen. Sorry. I went a little too far. That's it? <laughs> of course. A man with simple words. I stared at the note, letting a small smile grace my lips. It went too far. I enjoyed it, despite the first time circumstance. It was cute, though, to imagine him thanking me for something we both did and enjoyed. <laughs> Uh-oh, hiccup. I brought the note to the chest, to my, <laughs> to chest, but the memories of our meeting flooded my mind. I indulged myself too, Sam. I looked to the time out of curiosity. The large white numbers on my phone showed 5.31 p.m. Yikes. Four hours of being knocked out, and I still feel tired? It was Sunday, so I allowed to sleep longer if I wanted to. The remainder of the night went, oh, okay. Same stuff, same stuff. Before I could reach the hand on the door, however, someone took my hand. Huh? I turned to Sam, who was holding my hand with a stern look on his face. My name. What, well, what's your name, Sam? <laughs> your, your name? My true name isn't Sam. I want you to know my real name if something happens. The, his voice for this line is completely different from Damien's and uh, Matthew. His, it seems more like sincere and serious. Sincere and serious at the same time. Kind of melts your heart. I don't know. These voice actors, man. Just heart, heart melters. <laughs> Instead of heartbreakers, it's heart melters. His true name. What did he mean? Why is he telling me this now? 
Sam gently pulled me to him and leaned close to whisper in my ear. My name is Almaris. Almaris. We will stop here, because that's where the timer wants us to stop. So his name is Almaris. And this is a save, so then I could quickly pick pick the guys if you guys are ever wondering what the hell is right there. But, okay, gotta remember, his name is Almaris. Cool. These, these names are quite interesting, honestly. I'm pretty sure they have meanings behind them, but I haven't <laughs> decided to, like, look it up. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, uh, I feel quite unattached to the stories now because of the skipping, but the fact that the voice actors are pulling me in, yeah. This game is still fun to play. So if you guys have not downloaded yet, it's completely free. You guys should check it out. Especially if you're like wanting to squeal and fangirl and everything. Like, I don't know. <laughs> have like melting moments. Then you guys should definitely play this. Because the voice actors just pull you in. They like, it sounds like they're right there next to you holding your hand and be like, Boo boo, I am here. They're not gonna say that. They're gonna say it way more charming. Like, I'm here for you, okay? I'll protect you. <laughs> Just not so girly like I would say it. But yeah, these voice actors are quite amazing. It has always been my dream to voice act for a game, but you know, there's not many games that would want my voice. So, so quite sad. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys next time.